Access 31 provides a valuable service to its local community in Perth and also via its retransmission service in Albany, Bunbury and remote areas of WA. Access 31 continues to improve, develop and expand its operations so it will better meet its service obligations to its local community. Volunteers are a vital component to not only programming, but also in the day-to-day -day operations of a very busy television station. In the past year, in excess of 20,000 volunteers were tracked using Access 31's facilities and equipment to produce programs and assist in the day-to-day -day operations. Volunteer numbers are set to increase significantly in the years ahead. Greater focus also in providing a structured, accredited and unaccredited training program for volunteers will not only improve production and on-air standards, it will encourage the growth in volunteer participation. Testament to the service provided by Access 31 and the local programming is the ever-increasing number of viewers. In its first six years of broadcasting, Access 31's monthly audience has grown from less than 100,000 to over 800,000 and continues to build in line with the growth in local programs. In the history of the Australian television sector, the most significant event, other than the commencement of local services, was the granting of permanent licences in 2004. One of the most significant events in the history of Access 31, and again, other than commencing service on June 18, 1999, was the relocation to its own premises in Belmont in December 2003. Both of these important events were celebrated in a live telecast where the acting chair of the Australian Broadcasting Authority, now Australian Communications and Media Authority, presented the new permanent licence and the Premier of Western Australia officially opened the new building. We have not made in this state or this nation a sustainable society a priority. Respect and keeping things alive. No one understands what our people are going through. One person never can make any television program, so it's a collaborative work.